Wow, look at this. This is really amazing. Um, I have to tell you something because most people know we've got a banner and there's a link where you can well, sponsor us or buy us a cup of coffee. Somebody bought us a cup of coffee and not only a cup of coffee, they bought us a whole breakfast. Look at this. Thank you very much. We're really, really grateful for these people. They just made our day. And we want to especially thank Michael, Tabitha, Brian and Danny <laughs> for, for making this possible. So thank, thank you, you thank much. you very much. We're really going to enjoy this. You're Absolutely. great people and, and thank you for sponsoring us. So thank you for everything. Thank you. Funny little friend. So this is a stray cat who lives in the hostel. It's beautiful. Very playful. Mm. What on earth are you doing? Well, it was full when I started. Now, as for interesting people, this guy's got a very special pet I want to show you. Now, right here, we've got Rocket Stone. This guy actually owns a raccoon as a pet. So, here we've got Rocket Stone. He's a male, three months old. And I almost bought one of those many, many years ago back in Spain. Now, this is just really awesome. Siempre me toma de las manos para subirse. Let's just adore him. So what does he eat? ¿Qué come? Oh? ¿Qué come? Come comida para perro. ¿Come serio? Mm -hmm. Frutas también para equilibrar su eh, sistema digestivo y así que no le caiga tan pesado. Y toma mucha agua también. ¿Y lo tienes siempre suelto o en una jaula? No, 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 siempre suelto. Duerme conmigo y todo. ¿Y te sigue por todo lado, no? Sí, sí. De hecho, si lo pongo ahorita ¿Sí? y me voy caminando, él va a ir detrás de mí siempre. Vamos, oh, vení. Oh, This is just the most adorable pet ever. So amongst special characters, there's one guy, my new friend Armando. He has a very nice passion, a very nice hobby. Has to do with a lot of tradition of this country. So we're sitting down here today with him and we're gonna ask him what his work is all about. So, I'm here with Armando. I'm gonna flip, right, my, yeah. flip my camera. 
So we're going to switch over to Spanish. So everybody that does not speak Spanish, make sure to enable your closed captions to see what this is all about. Bueno, Armando, ¿qué tenemos ahí? Veo unas máscaras muy bonitas. Y bueno, cuéntame. Sí, claro. Acá lo que tenemos es la tradicional mascarada costarricense y de los dos estilos que se fabrican o que se realizan en Costa Rica. La de papel y la de fibra de vidrio. La, a la raíz de lo que vienen las mascaradas en Costa Rica es por eh, los españoles, ¿verdad? Cuando ellos vinieron a Costa Rica, acá ellos tra eh, traen su cultura y nosotros nos adaptamos a esa cultura, pero nosotros la modificamos como el tico, como en Costa Rica y como la relación entre el pura vida. Entonces nosotros lo que hacemos es eh, mo modificar, obtener una, una alusión de las mascaradas de que es un de que es una bula a la autoridad, porque éramos indígenas ¿verdad? en Costa Rica cuando se empezaron a dar las mascaradas y esto viene a raíz, como les digo, de la religión, del catolicismo, del Corpus Christi. La tradicional mascarada siempre se va a llevar y siempre va a haber una mascarada en cada pueblo que haya fiestas patronales en celebración a su virgen o su patrón. La festividad más grande en Costa Rica es en octubre, porque de 1997 el 31 de octubre en Costa Rica se celebra el Día Nacional de la Mascarada Tradicional Costarricense. También el 12 de octubre se celebra por el Encuentro de Culturas y en donde yo vivo, que es en la Unión entre Ríos de Cartago, por la Mascarada de la Carpintera, que así se llama el grupo en el que yo estoy. Este, ahí se celebra durante todo el mes continuo. Hay diferentes pueblos, a veces lo celebran en agosto, septiembre o octubre, dependiendo la religión que practiquen o el patrono de cada pueblo. Entonces tú esto lo haces todo con manos, ¿no? Con las manos, sí. Esto es este, una artesanía, una escultura y un arte hecho solamente con las manos. No tenemos los mascareros de Costa Rica, no tenemos eh, algún material o alguna máquina que nos ayude a esculpir esto. Nosotros hacemos esto en arcilla, si pueden ver, ¿verdad? Por dentro es hueco. Porque si no, pesaría mucho. Siempre siente la contextura del rostro que sea simétrico, que tenga, que, que tenga esta nariz, la boca bien, que sea bien anatómico, saber dónde va un ojo, saber todas las dimensiones de un rostro, entonces hay que saber mucho de anatomía. El, la persona que sabe hacer mascaradas tiene que aprender de anatomía humana. Y esta es la tradicional mascarada costarricense porque es hecha en papel, igual que esta, que es hecha en papel pueden ver aquí por detrás que sí se nota el papel y únicamente nosotros lo que hacemos es pintarla o como el pasar del tiempo tenemos que irnos adaptando por la lluvia y por las condiciones climáticas nosotros optamos a realizar todo el mismo proceso de la escultura en arcilla pero no le ponemos papel le ponemos fibra de vidrio eso es un material duro, más resistente, suena la diferencia entre golpes, es muchísimo más duro y por dentro también son diferentes. Se le pone una pequeña capa de espuma de, para que no te lastime el rostro y es lo que nosotros normalmente utilizamos, simplemente colocándosela. ¿Cuánto tiempo te vas a hacer una de estas? ¿De este tamaño? Sí. Eh, eh, unos tres días. ¿Tres días? Tres días completo teniendo este acabado, pintada ya completa para entregarla al cliente o donde yo la quiera colocar. ¿Y planes a futuro? ¿Planes a futuro? Eh, soy muy tico, pero el querer exportar más mi cultura crear, yo, yo organizo un festival de cimarronas y mascaradas en donde diferentes grupos de máscaras de todo el país se reúnen en un solo lugar pero aquí en Costa Rica y este, crear, crear ese tipo de, de encuentros pero más global no solo en Costa Rica entonces sino que la sede sea eh, qué sé yo, un, un país de Latinoamérica, Europa o Asia crear y expandir 
para todos tener un, un mapeo de lo que es esto. Muchísimas gracias. Pura vida, this is life. Now of course traveling the world does come with a cost. To stay low budget you can stay in a hostel which you probably spend between 10 20 dollars a night. But there are also a few websites like worldpackers.com and workaway where you can find accommodations for free in exchange for your time. So you work a couple of days behind the desk, do some cleaning in exchange for a free room and in some cases you even get free meals. So That's a great way of saving money. And of course, talking about saving money, the biggest ripoff here in Costa Rica is renting a car. Now, don't be fooled because they will lure you in with cheap prices, but when you actually go and pick up the car, there'll be hidden fees, there'll be mandatory insurances, there will be some kind of nonsense cost that will make you ending up spending so much money, it's probably almost cheaper buying a car. So we've been looking to rent a car for a couple of days now. Uh, we went to several places and it's just outrageously expensive. And therefore... Hey, let's see cars! We bought a car! <laughs> okay. okay. Gracias. <laughs> you work well. Yeah! Yes. Gracias. Yes. Yes. Okay. So let's have a look inside. Oh. Let's not have a look inside. <laughs> Wait for it. We are we Let's have a look inside and see what we bought. So ah, let's see about the lighting. There we go. So it's very nice. Let me just flip the camera for you. So I like this very much. No keys. There's a camera for the reverse, so we can see in the back what's happening. It's automatic. There's even a... I don't know how to open this yet. I'm really excited about this. There you go. There's a USB port, so we can charge our phone and stuff. There's a lot of extras in this car. All nice leather. And there's a sunroof. So, we are quite excited about this car. There we go. We're quite excited about this car. And now, you're probably wondering, Why did you buy a car and what are you going to do when you leave Costa Rica? It's very simple. What we're going to do when we leave Costa Rica, this is going to be a rental car. Um, we're probably going to get a second vehicle and we're going to rent them both out. So that will be our first income on our journey. So while we're traveling, we're making some extra money. Within a year, the cars will be paid off and then we can start making some profit. So if you ever come down to Costa Rica, Up and away rent a car. If you're gonna go there and you mention you're coming from Baker Feeling Adventures, you get a very nice discount from us as you're our friends, subscribers and viewers. Remember that, come down to Costa Rica, make sure you rent your car at Up and Away Rent a Cars. See you soon. So, and not only we bought a car, we also bought a baby seat for in the car. So, staying at this hostel is kind of starting to look like Hotel California. We can check out anytime we want, but we can never leave. Now, we've been here for two weeks already. Uh, the reason for that is not that we don't want to go out, But as we mentioned earlier, we bought the car, this car, uh, which we're gonna put out for rental. Now, of course, we'll be using this car for the upcoming months. Um, so it's not gonna be making any money for us soon. Therefore, we come up with the idea to buy or at least look for a second car so that at least one car can start making us an income right now. Now, all this transmission, looking for cars, uh, doing the paperwork, takes up a little time and therefore we're still here. So today we're going to look for car number two and uh, see if we can get that one on the road before the end of the weekend. So, 
We've been at the hostel for over two weeks now, but we actually really are leaving tomorrow towards Monteverde, which is a little bit up north where we can finally start uh, traveling around Costa Rica and exploring this beautiful country. Now, the reason we've been staying here for so long is because, of course, we wanted to buy a car. We also wanted to buy a second car so that one of them could uh, start being rented out. So then we could start the up and away rental car. Um, unfortunately, we did not buy the second car, which didn't, uh, well, we didn't like the one we saw. So we're sticking with the one now we're using right now and we're leaving tomorrow, otherwise we'll be staying here too long. Now, another thing and another reason we stayed here uh, is because I had a lot of work uh, editing my videos. I was really behind schedule. And another reason is that the weather has been really bad because when we arrived it was basically the end of the rain season. So the summer is starting right now and as you can see the weather is beautiful. But it has rained so much in the last few days that look, even the pool got filled with water. So that's a plus side. Uh, perhaps later we take a dip, perhaps not. First of all, I'm gonna go to the kitchen right now because uh, Yolanda is making some typical traditional uh, dish I'm gonna show you in a second. So let's go to the kitchen and find out what's cooking. What are you making? Hey! Hey! Uh, Plantanos! Uh, Plantanos! Mm -hmm. Let me switch the camera around and show you. With sour cream. Mmm, delicious. Something typical from here. So. So, Andre comes. So, plantain with sour cream on a pancake. I uh, never heard of this before until yesterday, but it's absolutely delicious, absolutely lovely. So make sure you come down here. Mm, you tried it. You try this out and uh, enjoy, as we are enjoying right now and enjoying this beautiful weather. And here's a special message for my mother and Jan. Just wanted to let you know, we're doing fine, the weather's great, we're having the time of our life. So, don't worry. Dikke knuffel en we houden van jullie. Doei! Doei! Oké, okay, welkom to Monteverde. Oh my god! Make sure to check out our channel of the week. Lee's Art Studio, a self-taught artist who makes beautiful paintings and artworks, tutorials, and she has a fantastic sense of humor. Don't miss out and make sure you check her out. Wow, this is this is this is terrific. <laughs> I have to tell you about those these people. Take two. Sure, to check out the next video. Tune in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friends and family. And, and we'll see you in the, the next, next video. video.